Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with another essentials video. This is going to be my office wear essentials or just office essentials. I was going to call this video a work essentials video, but since I do work in a more sort of corporate office environment, I figured I'd focus on those things since that is kind of how my wardrobe um, is based around for work, but if you work in another environment, this may or may not be helpful for you But I thought I would just kind of show you the pieces that I could not be without when I go into the office for meetings or for work in general and um, Yeah, things that I find to be my essentials that I think anyone who works in an office environment would definitely benefit from having in their wardrobe so I'm going to start with um, some of the pieces pieces that I consider to be my staples or basics um, that I first started buying when I started working in a more sort of corporate setting. And that would be jackets, skirts, and pants that all kind of coordinate together. So it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a suit, but I do tend to buy things um, that do work together. So suits do work. And if you can find a jacket and a skirt and a matching pair of pants, I will buy all three because you can obviously wear them together or separately. And I'll show you a few examples. Um, this is a jacket that I have from J. Crew. This is just a really basic black jacket. I think a black um, blazer is definitely an essential for any sort of corporate wardrobe. This is something I wear over and over again so many different ways with pants, with skirts, um, over dresses. I wear this on the weekends with jeans or just going out um, on after work for drinks or something. I might throw on a pair of jeans with this and it, I just get a ton of use out of it and I like to buy things in just a kind of classic style that I know I can use for years and years. And then another one of those sort of staple pieces would be a black pencil skirt. Um, this one is also from J. Crew. It goes with the jacket and it's just um, a nice fine lightweight wool. All of these pieces are kind of a lightweight wool which is the um, kind of standard that I go with because you can wear it all year long. It kind of works with everything. And then a nice pair of tailored pants. These are from the same collection from J. Crew. Um, and these are a little more straight leg than um, some of the ones I've had in the past. I used to be a long time wearer of Banana Republic's Hudson pant, which they no longer um, make, I don't think, but they had a little bit more of a boot cut leg. Um, and I really liked the way that looked on me for years, but now things are getting a lot more kind of tapered or in this case, just straight leg. And so that is what I've been going with. Those are kind of my staple pieces that I always sort of start with when it comes to a work wardrobe. The next thing I would add to that would be um, shells or camisoles, things that you can wear year round under jackets, under sweaters that kind of just work with everything and neutral colors um, that again kind of work with everything. A couple examples I have here, this one is from Banana Republic. Um, this is kind of a crepey material, black, it's got this little kind of racer back style. Um, this works really nicely with a skirt, with pants, under a jacket, under, like I mentioned, a cardigan sweater, and it's something that I get a ton of use out of. I love that it is this crepey, thicker material, so it's not see-through. I do have other camisoles that are silk or um, just kind of that satiny material, and those aren't quite as nice as this. And I like that it's not really shiny. It's just a really nice, plain, simple um, tank, I think, or sorry, camisole. I think these are still available at Banana Republic. I just saw them on sale and I actually have them in several colors. So love, love, love a good cami. And also um, shells, any type of sleeveless top that you can wear all year round. I do like to layer um, both when I'm casual or if I'm at work because I'm always cold, even in the summertime when it's 90 degrees and humid out here. I go into my office building and it's freezing and I like to have Kind of a sleeveless top that when I go out for lunch or something I can take off my jacket or my sweater and have something that is weather appropriate but when I am in the office um, shirts like this look really nice you can tuck them in or just leave them hanging out I tend not to tuck a lot of things in because I am short-waisted and quite petite and I don't like to sort of cut my body in half so when I can I find tops that aren't too long this one is actually a petite from Banana Republic so it fits me kind of perfectly and um, they always have um, this sort of style of shell top available at Banana Republic. I tend to buy a lot of them there and um, these are what I kind of go to for work. I've got a lot of different um, patterns and colors and 
Um, mostly neutrals though, blacks and whites and things like that. And then another essential for the office would be the white blouse. And the one that I get a ton of wear out of and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with is from Express. This is the Portofino shirt and I have this in several colors. Um, this one is the long sleeve version but you can actually um, roll the sleeves up and button it like so. And I love, love, love this blouse. You can wear this casually, you can wear it to work, you can tuck it in, you can wear it out. So many different ways to wear it, but a nice white blouse is definitely an essential and this is something that when they go on sale, I definitely always tend to buy more because they just last and last. They're just a polyester material, I think, but um, they just work really well for in the office and out of the office. So love a good white blouse. And then to kind of continue layering and top things off, I always have a couple of neutral cardigans. And I do like to go for longer cardigans. These are from Banana Republic. <laughs> and um, I have one in black and one in cream. And these are just a lightweight, um, fine merino blend that kind of work all year round and are really, really um, simple and basic, but just add a little something to your work wardrobe. And you can throw these over a camisole or a shell, or I could throw it over a top like I'm wearing today on maybe a more casual day. This is just a sleeveless top from H&M, but a nice flowy top with a cardigan is something that I tend to wear quite a bit of um, throughout the year, both casually and for work. So um, that is definitely a staple piece for me in my work wardrobe. And then I took this blazer out just as an example of a, what I would call statement blazer. So something that really speaks to your personality. For me, I love Coco Chanel and I love the style of those Chanel-esque blazers that have the fringe around the sides. This one is from Zara. I love that it has the little pearl details and this really just adds a lot of color and personality, I think, to your outfit. To kind of top it all off, the piece that I couldn't be without um, on rainy days, on in bad weather, and just about year round would be some type of overcoat. For me, when I go to work, it's all about a trench coat, and I have a couple here. Um, I've got my Burberry trench coat, which this one is a little bit shorter. This is the mid-length Kensington trench, which um, I tend to wear on kind of rainy days. I get a lot of use out of this in the transitional months, in the spring and in the fall. Um, I haven't worn it so much this summer because it's been too warm already, um, but I absolutely love having a trench coat. I think it really pulls everything together when you're going in and out of the office. And then I also have a black one, and this is a longer one that I got years ago from Banana Republic. And um, you don't really have to spend a lot of money on a trench coat. You definitely don't need a Burberry trench coat, but um, having a nice trench coat in your wardrobe is something I think is essential if you work in an office environment and you want kind of a versatile coat that you can wear pretty much every day in bad weather. And then in terms of shoes, I think there are two, when I thought about sort of what are the two go-to styles of shoes that I think everyone should have for the office, and it really comes down to flats and heels. And so for flats, um, I love to go with a ballerina flat. I've got a couple pairs here. I've got, of course, my Chanel ballerina flats that I think are perfect for when I am being a little bit more casual and comfortable and I just want a nice pair of shoes that are going to um, just you know dress up my outfit. And then the other pair that I go to quite a bit, these are from uh, J. Crew, and these are just kind of ballerina style but with a pointy toe um, leopard print shoe. I can't remember the name of these. I don't know if it has it on the box here. Uh, no, it does not. But um, these seem to be pretty readily available on their website if you look for kind of a ballerina style shoe. But I've got these in multiple different colors and prints because I get a lot of use out of them. I find them to be pretty comfortable. You do need to wear them in, but once you do, they are pretty comfortable, very lightweight, easy to wear and um, won't break the bank buying these ones. And then in terms of heels, I have been someone who for years got all of my sort of pumps uh, for work from, um, I'm not even gonna name names, but just not really higher end, if more expensive <laughs> shoe wear, I would say. And I've only recently started investing in some nicer, higher quality shoes, and I have been very pleased with the results I've had 
quite a few Cole Haan um, shoes and I've really, really enjoyed those. And now I've even stepped it up from that and I have gotten into Stuart Weitzman and um, I've recently purchased these. These are the Moody Pumps and, or the Moody, yeah, the Moody Pumps and they have about a uh, two and a half or three, inch heel so they're not super high but they are just a classic sort of almond toe pump i have them in nude and in black and both pairs are actually this patent leather i will say the first time i wore them i did cut up my feet a little bit got a blister in the back but that happens to me no matter what shoes i wear at what price point um, i think about the only shoes that hasn't happened with are things that are open in the back or my Chanel ballet flats. Somehow those have never blistered my feet. But if I walk long enough in anything, it's gonna happen and I just need to break them in. I have very sensitive skin or something, I don't really know. But um, it really only took one time of that happening and now these are a dream. So I absolutely am loving these and um, can't really say enough about all of my experiences with Stuart White's and shoes. Um, sometimes they do require a little bit of wear in time, but um, aside from that, they are really great. And I don't know if you can see this ball in the camera, but I've got my exercise ball sitting next to me and I think it like rolled over from the other side of the room. So I'm just gonna roll it back. <laughs> so um, since I too, do tend to wear a lot of basics that are very neutral to the office, I like to kind of dress things up with my accessories and one of the things I use to do that are scarves, especially since I mentioned I'm always cold. So scarves are like a year round thing for me. So a few of my favorite scarves for work I have right here. One is from Burberry and this is the gauze scarf and I have it in, um, I think this is the color trench. It actually matches my trench coat and it's um, very similar to the stone color. It's either trench or stone, I'm not sure. They're very similar, but you can see um, against my trench coat over here, it is basically the same color and something that really works well with grays and black and neutrals, white, whatever. Burberry, I think, just goes with everything. Um, and another one, this one is just from Banana Republic. This is just kind of a cheetah print, and I just, or actually it's more of a giraffe print, I would say, but um, in any case, this is just a fun um, animal print a uh, scarf that's really soft that I can just throw on and I think it just adds a little bit of fun to basically anything that I would wear to the office. And the last one I have here, this is just a silk blend from Banana Republic. And this was just to show something with a nice pop of color, which I think um, definitely can jazz up a mostly basic neutral wardrobe, which is, like I said, 90% of what I wear to work. Um, and then getting into a handbag for work, I do work in an office environment and for years I carried a purse, like a business professional purse. I was really into like the Michael Kors Selma sort of style um, satchel bags for a really long time and I would carry my laptop separately in a laptop bag and I had never been a tote person until Louis Vuitton. I actually, the Neverfull I think might have been the first tote I ever bought in my life. Um, and I am now a tried and true tote person. And my favorite tote for work is actually my Saint Laurent, um, I don't even know what the name of this is. I think it's just called the large tote, but um, I have it in black and I am just obsessed with this right now. I feel like it goes with everything. It is just really easy to get on and off your shoulder. Um, it's a really simple kind of minimalist looking style bag that um, is very understated. It doesn't scream, you know, high-end designer bag or anything, but I do find that this is really, really useful and really, really practical for, um, for the money that you pay for it. So <laughs> I think this is a great work tote and it carries everything I need. So I only have one bag to put my laptop, all my necessities. I do tend to carry a pochette or something small inside the bag that I can take with me to grab and go to lunch and stuff like that. But this is just such a perfect, perfect work bag. I am really, really pleased with it. And I continue to use my Neverfulls in the MM size for work, but, um, I am a tote girl all the way right now, 100%. I don't really carry many other bags to the office unless I know I'm going somewhere where I wanna kinda of go day to night with one purse. And um, in that case, I might leave my laptop in a laptop bag and take a separate purse. But most of the time, it's totes every single day. 
When it comes to jewelry for the office, um, I'm not someone who wears a lot of jewelry anyway, but I do like to have a nice watch. Um, this is from Cluse, and this is just a really basic, um, simple watch. It is in silver, kind of a, what is it, stainless steel mesh band on it, but this is something that I wear quite a bit, and I alternate with other watches, but something just kind of simple um, and clean is what I go for when it comes to watches. And then I may throw on, depending on what I'm wearing, some pearls. I love pearls in an office setting. And I have um, this beautiful set here from Naked Pearls. Um, I have the small pearl earrings with the matching necklace and um, bracelet. I don't usually wear all three together. This is something I reserve to wear all together when I'm like going out somewhere kind of formal or special, but um, I do tend to wear kind of the earrings and the necklace quite a bit to work or um, maybe just the bracelet, who knows, but um, I think pearls are definitely an essential for the office um, jewelry wise since I don't really like to wear a lot of costume jewelry or anything like that to work. The one thing I forgot to talk about is the little black dress. I think when you're buying a suit, when you can get a dress um, to go with it, this one isn't the matching set from the suit I just showed you because I don't think there was one available in that particular style, but this is from Tahari and it's just a simple um, sheath dress that you could wear day to night um, going out just plain as it is, dress it up with a pair of pearls, maybe a nice scarf, or you could wear it to the office with a jacket. I think a sheath dress is definitely another office essential that I forgot to mention. <laughs> And then, um, last but not least, I'm going to talk about a couple of beauty things, not anything too crazy. When it comes to um, makeup at the office, I tend to go really, really neutral and natural, which is what I do most of the time anyway. But if I am going to take any cosmetics with me to the office, it's usually lipstick and like a compact powder for touch-ups. And the lipsticks that I absolutely love for the office, I've got three of them here. Um, the first one and my favorite one is Chanel's Boy, which I've talked about quite a bit on my channel. Um, this is a nice nudie pink color that I find just kind of perfect with everything for the office. And then the other one that I just like the formula a bit better is from Bobbi Brown. This is Bobbi Brown's um, blush. I have quite a few kind of nudie pinks from Bobbi Brown, but blush is the one I have been currently wearing quite a bit to the office and I have one right now. And then um, if I'm feeling like I just need a pop of color, like I'm dressed all in black and I just need something to make a statement, I will go for a red and this is Parisian Red from Bobbi Brown and I absolutely love, love, love this lipstick. And I think reds are a very personal thing. Um, <laughs> everyone kind of has their favorite red that works best for them and their skin tone, but for me, this is just my favorite red of all time. And my final office essential would be a fragrance, and I'm gonna go with my Chanel number no. five for this. Um, this is the number no. five Low, which is the version that I'm currently obsessed with. I think it is just sort of light enough and fresh enough to wear in an office environment um, while still sort of smelling sophisticated and kind of put together. Um, and it's just a beautiful daytime fragrance. I tend to reserve the original number no. five for going out in the evening or for more formal occasions. I think it's a little heavier and stronger and I don't want to offend anyone around me. I do tread lightly with even this one. Um, it is a lighter scent, but I don't, like I said, want to, you know, walk by people and give them a headache with my perfume. <laughs> so um, this is just, you know, sophisticated, like I said. It's a very grown-up scent, but at the same time it's very pleasant and light and fresh and pretty and I just absolutely love this for the office. So that is it for my office essentials. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding anything I've talked about, please leave it in the comments below. And thank you all for watching. And I hope you all have a rest, a great rest of the week. It's almost over. And I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye.